Hi, what's cooking? I'm Bella and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new to the channel, welcome as well. Please take a moment and subscribe. Make sure to turn on the notification bell as well so you get notified every time a new recipe drops. Today we're going to be making this delicious and nutritious red lentil hummus. Red lentil is rich in iron, soluble and unsoluble fibers. It's high in protein content, so it's a great alternative for a vegan or somebody following a plant-based diet. But it's a great snack for anybody regardless. I will be posting the list of ingredients, including the measurements and the step-by-step -step of this tutorial on how to make this recipe on the comments down below. So first, our highlight, our start of the recipe is the dried red lentil. So you're gonna need one cup of dried red lentil and you need to hydrate it at a minimum for four hours or you can add the filtered water and keep it in the fridge overnight. So for one cup, of dry lentil, I'm using two cups of filtered water. Maybe this was a little bit more than two cups. But nonetheless, this is already uh, the lentil that I've prepared for the video. It has been hydrating for four hours and you can see that it doubled in size. Once you're ready to make your hummus, you're going to drain this water and hopefully you can see it here. And then you're gonna rinse just until the water comes out a little bit clear. You don't need to rinse too much. And just so you can see, okay? Now we're going to cook the lentils. So we have the hydrated red lentil. For one part of dried red lentil, you're going to use two parts of filtered water. And then I'm using the juice of one lemon. Um, the only reason I have the yellow here to show you is because in Brazil, lemon is what here in the US we call lime, and that's okay as well, but I am using the yellow lemon. So the juice of one. And the reason why I like to cook with the juice at this point, um, there are two reasons. One, we want to avoid this recipe. If sitting in the refrigerator for five days, the lemon will tend to turn bitter. So this will prevent that from happening. And then I like my hummus to be thick in consistency. So this way it, it has a lemony flavor but it's not going to impact the consistency after it's cooked. And then just a little bit of salt, which we're going to adjust it afterwards. Bring it to stove top, turn the heat to high. And once it starts boiling at this point, even though it's not completely boiling, it's okay to go ahead and turn the stove top to low and cover. We're going to simmer for 25 minutes. In preparation for this tutorial, I already cooked my lentils ahead of time. Um, so once it's done, I have the one for the demo here cooking, you're going to drain for at least 30 minutes. You wanna get as much of the water out because again, you want that thick consistency. Because my food processor is tiny, I had to pulse a little bit to make sure everything fits. Now the garlic, I use this cool little plate that I have. You can chop it. I know we're going to blend it all. Now we're gonna taste if we need more salt and lemon. I'm also going to add a little bit of olive oil. This is it, it's done. So now we just gotta transfer to the bowl that you're going to be serving or the one you're gonna be keeping in the refrigerator. I am topping mine with cayenne pepper because here at home we do love spicy. 
You can also add um, black pepper, white pepper, or cumin if you like it. So add the seasoning of choice. And then I love this topped with um, olive oil. So I'm going to put some cayenne pepper and olive oil and that's it. It is ready to be enjoyed. You can keep it in the fridge, like I said, because we did um, ended up adding more lemon. It may get a little bit bitter after three days, um, but I had mine in the fridge for like five days and it was still pretty good. I didn't mind it. Just kind of like disclaimer. For the photo, we're going to play with the topping, some cayenne pepper, Paprika, if you're not a fan of something too spicy. And olive oil. It's done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, you know what to do. Leave some comments down below and hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.